Robotic technology has really changed how we take care of people with tumors or diseases of the back of the throat, which is called the oropharynx. And so this is a new, really, relatively new technology, and we have a couple of different instruments now that are available to perform these sort of procedures. But as with every new technique or technology, there are going to be cases that are appropriate and other cases where you really ought not to use this technology. So at the University of Pittsburgh, we really tried to focus our use of the technique and technology to treat the appropriate patients, so really delivering the right quality of care at the right time to the right patient. So this is really what we define as rational use. And in our experience and in our opinion, patients that have relatively well-defined or small tumors low volume tumors of the oropharynx are most amenable to robotic surgery because in a significant number of these people, up to 30 or 40 percent, you can actually avoid giving any adjuvant therapy whatsoever. What this means is that the people, patients can now have a quicker recovery. They can have a one modality treatment as opposed to two or three modalities of treatment. And this in turn leads to better outcomes, both functional and comparable oncologic outcomes. The oropharyngeal uh, cancer study uh, is sponsored by the Eastern Cooperative Group, Oncology Group, which is called ECOG, E-C-O-G, and this is study number 3311. And what this study really tries to, to achieve is use robotic or minimally invasive techniques to remove tumors that are, again, low stage, and then give these patients the opportunity to have de-escalated adjuvant therapy. So instead of giving somebody full dose radiation or chemo and radiation after surgery, which is what we used to do, which probably was an overkill because many of these patients do really, really well. And so can we, in the right patients, de-escalate therapy to improve their quality of life, improve their function, while preserving excellent oncologic outcomes? And the University of Pittsburgh has been one of the centers that actually pioneered this concept and pioneered this study. And myself, along with my colleague, Dr. Bob Ferris, who is the national PI of the study, have gone on and enrolled patients to the study and it's accruing really well. Currently, the study is open in multiple centers across the country with, new, with up to 50 physicians who are enrolling patients as a study and are credentialed to the study. Really, the physicians need to understand, or our community needs to understand, that the paradigm and the way that we treat oropharyngeal cancer is shifting. Surgery is now back on the table, and in the right patients, when used by trained and highly experienced surgeons, we can really give patients a good outcome by not having to subject them to full-course, high-intensity chemoradiotherapy. Thank you.